Okay, we're with Josiah Coatney here, member of the defensive line at Ole Miss. Um, Josiah, tell me, uh, what are your, what are you most excited about for this season to get started? Just get back on the field. Uh, you definitely want to get back with the team. We had a kind of a, like a week, six, couple of days break. You know, we were doing some workouts, but just get back in pads, get back at it, you know. So we're definitely trying to see what we have as collective group. We got a lot of new guys, so we're trying to see what they're doing. Um, okay, uh, in his press conference, Coach Luke was asked about leaders on the team, and he mentioned you right off the bat and talked the most about you. Kind of lumped everybody else in together, but talked about you and said, uh, when Josiah talks, the players listen. So, what is it about you that makes the players listen to you? Yeah, that comes at a price, but it's just something that you need. It's not, it's not something that I actually want to just be me. I want to be like a group of leaders. I feel like the great teams at Ole Miss had more than 11 leaders on defense. They had everybody holding themselves accountable and holding other players accountable. So it, it lumped everybody together to just be like that much better. Like, hey, I don't want to do this because my teammates are not doing this. And we were trying to win games and you just want to hold yourself accountable. So those, those great teams, I just like, I looked at them and I'm like, hey, how did they beat Bama? How did they beat Auburn? How did they beat LSU? And it's like, it's just com a combination of like multiple leaders and not just one or two or three. Mm -hmm or nine or 10, but 11 plus. So that's right. definitely something you want to have. That's really a good, you said it comes at a price. What's that price? Eh, it's just like a price. You know, you're, you're on a higher standard than everybody else, especially like when you're a main guy mm -hmm. and you're a leader, you're definitely on a higher standard, but it's just something that you gotta uphold. And you can't be as nice as you want to be to everybody. So a lot of people take it more personal than anything, but it's just you trying to get them better. And at the end of the road, they'll see that. But at that moment, sometimes they definitely don't. Right. Receive right. the message sometimes as you're trying to portray it. What can folks look for? Like, how is this defense going to be improved this year versus last year? Do you think? Because you, I mean, you lost some very solid players, you know, Breland yeah. and Marquise and Demarcus. So, how does this defense improve this year? I mean, they're all great players. Just, but at the end of the day, it takes 11 plus. It doesn't take one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll still have the same season we had last year. We we'll still have guys running the ball, and it's like we don't want to. So it takes everybody at every position to be great and accountable for what they have to do. And then it takes some guys, you know, to take it a step further to make the play big plays that we need to win games and, you know, beat those Alabamas, Auburns, LSU, Texas and them. So. What, um, you know, I keep hearing every, like, I'll be on radio shows here and there, and they will always, invariably, Coach Roach's name comes up, and every, he's described by every radio host and sports person that I talk to as just a rising star. What is it about Coach Roach that makes him such a good defensive line coach? Team? He just knows how to adapt to the player's situation. You uh, know, he identifies the type of player he has, like, very quickly. So he knows how to work with them. He knows how to mold them. He definitely keeps everybody accountable. He, he's definitely the head. But he has a really good uh, football IQ. His football IQ is like something that we, we had lacked a defensive line coach, but it's like it's an overall def it's an overall defensive mindset, like not just D-line, but concept, scheme. It's something that you can tweak and adjust like as you go. He's very good at adapting like on the go. So that's definitely something you do. you gotta have, you know, if you want to be a successful coach. Right. And how does he but you know what, there's a lot of uh, coaches that have a, a really good football IQ, but if they can't get that across to their players, then mm, they didn't that good. So how does he I mean he obviously must be very good at that. Yeah, um, his communication level is you know, where it needs to be. If he definitely has to pull you aside, talk to you yourself, he'll definitely do that. But it's all for the better. He always wants he wants everybody on the team to be in sync, especially on the D line. So he wants everybody to know like it's gonna take more than just four to win games. It's gonna take eight. It's gonna take ten. It's like so and everybody can't make it on the bus. He stresses that. So it's says who's gonna be there, who wants it more, who actually wants to hit these goals or they're they you know, they're setting. So that's definitely something he, he pushes the players to test them like the manhood to a certain degree. Right. And it forces some players to adapt. It forces some to retreat, so it's gonna, it's only going to be the best who's going to end up at the end. So he, he definitely pushes everyone. What was it like last year? And I I asked Javon this. I mean, going into that Egg Bowl last year, I I don't think many people outside of Ole Miss people, you know, 
predicted that we would win that game. I mean, I predicted it, but um, not everybody did. So what was it like just knowing that, you know, you? I, I know like Javon said, you know, we, we wanted Coach Luke, we wanted Coach Luke to, you know, we wanted to win for him. We wanted to, you know, have him become our coach. And you had just so much pressure on you. What was it like going there in that stadium and beating them under all the circumstances that y'all had? How did that feel? I feel good. Uh, you definitely want to always get a win when you're going into a game, but you know, it's a rivalry game, so it's a little bit more exclusive. So you definitely want to do it on that stage. It was Thanksgiving, it was the only game, everybody's family's watching. You know, it's just something we want to do, especially for Coach Luke, who won him here as a coach. He's a great coach, great motivator, great, you know, just to be around. I mean, he definitely loves the program, so, you know, whatever we can do to help and get a win at the same time, and get a rival win game, and get the trophy back, we we'll definitely do. So, it was, it, was a, it was a great game, a lot of emotion. Uh, probably one of the better games I've been a part of. But, you know, definitely something I would, I mean, we're going to do again. I'll say I love doing it, but we're going to do it again this year. So. Yeah, and you get them our, at home. Do, do it in our best interest, you know, try to win that game again. It's another game, you know, on the schedule, so we're trying to win everything we can. Right. Um, are you are you uh, looking forward to going to NRG Stadium in Houston and playing Texas Tech? I mean, that'll be a really that's a really good, you know, offensive football team. I mean, they're usually pretty high octane. You know, yeah, kind of they're gonna be pretty good. So it's just it's just basically, you know, like I said, we're trying to win every game, no matter where it's at. So we definitely have to bring the consistency level with the good defense that we're trying to improve on and build and everyday things. So we're definitely gonna bring it every game. But this this game for sure we're definitely trying to make a statement for the season going forward. Definitely because the next couple games coming up, they're not just regular games. So Right. They're all yeah, they're all important. So yeah. Okay, well thank you so much. I sure appreciate it.